Bonjour, Monique Zerbaya. Hello and good morning. I'm speaking to you today from Solakot in my riding of Kyoetnuk. Solakot is on the territory of Lakso First Nation. This is the traditional land of the Anishinaabe, part of Treaty 3. I'd like you to take a moment and think of the territory you are on today. The land you are living and working on is indigenous lands. We have been here on Turtle Island, or what you call North America, for tens of thousands of years. When the settlers came 500 years ago, we did not give away the land we prospered and survived on. No, the land was taken from us. We were violently removed from our lands through racist laws and policies that were contrary to the treaties we signed with your ancestors. Those treaties, which are still the law of the land today, said we would equally share the benefits of the bounty of Canada. Sadly, that did not happen. All the treaties that made the province and country you are now standing on, beginning with the Treaty of Niagara in 1763, have been broken by a long succession of Canadian and provincial governments. This has led to genocide, one that is still occurring today as our people struggle to achieve the same equity and rights that non-Indigenous Canadians have. All our communities still do not have clean running water. They do not have access to high schools, to hospitals, and fully staffed health clinics. Our children are still in state-run foster care of, at alarming rates. I believe land acknowledgements are important because we must talk about what Canada's true history looks like. And it starts with by acknowledging the land that we are standing on right now. We must recognize the ongoing injustices that Indigenous people face and acknowledge Canadians have a responsibility to educate themselves and improve relationships with Indigenous people. Acknowledging the traditional and treaty territories we live and work on is just one small step of being an ally to Indigenous people. Our actions cannot be performative, they must be truthful. Look inward and ask yourself, what am I doing to change? So take this moment to acknowledge the land and treaties where you are today. We need to take justice and reconciliation beyond land acknowledgements. Real change is about actions, not words. Miigwech and thank you for being here this weekend. I hope our time together will be productive.